presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to Morning. let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family and if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So That's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Up, up, and seven. Great day. Safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you're right. You may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 326, NASDAQ's off 298, SP's down 62, gold, gold contract down $6.70, trading at 1972 an ounce. We have silver down 49 cents, $23.83 an ounce. Light sweet crew down a buck 48, $79. 89 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down one tick, trading 110.26. The 30-year off 20 at 122.11, and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 284 ticks, trading 102.587. Euro at 109, yen at 143, British pound at 127 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, first, we'll go into, might as well go into the futures. Take a look. It's been a one-way trip on the way down. You've had one bounce out here. So you take a look at this. You can see you opened. You bottom line, a real small bounce. But I don't, I don't see this. You can tell when you, if you're going to bounce into the close, what you have is this. Normally, you'll get a couple up bars with volume. We don't have it. So I expect what you're going to see, you're going to close at the lows today. Uh, bottom line is it's been a one-way route all the way down. If we go take a look at the SPY, what you're going to see with the SPY is that you rolled. Well, the SPY, the Qs, they both gapped. And when they gapped, what they did, if you take a look at this, okay, you gapped, and you had, you're going to have an expansion of volume simultaneously. Now, the SPY, the first place that, you know, basically has any type of support, is right here, which is the, what's that, 443. And you're at 450 right now. That's how this that baby's set up. You get plenty of small gaps in there, too. You can see that gap. We, we gap right down. We're going to break that swing, but you're not going to break the swing in volume. It's 58 million. Now, where that support is, we almost hit it. It's 443. No, 453.90. We hit, oh, no, hold it one second. No, it's 443, 443. Yeah, four, we didn't hit it, not even close, yeah. 443, we hit 449, okay? So I suspect, let's see, it's Wednesday, yeah. I mean, you, you can get down there. Window dressing is, yeah, this would be kind of it with the window dressing. We got Apple and we got uh, Amazon tomorrow, but bottom line, you know, it looks like you, you got that roll happening. We go take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs, same type of setup. The difference in the Qs, you definitely have higher volume. They're getting out of the Qs so fast they can't see straight, okay? So if we take a look at there, yeah, this is the one I was talking about, that the Qs did come into where it should have some support. Just missed it, actually, but it's above it. We hit 373.13, it's 372.85. Now that's... 80 million, and right now I get 57, so we're going to do about 70 million. And, you know, we'll see if that's going to be a rejection of lower price. 
Uh, very, well, very well could be. That's, that's the bottom line, particularly with Apple and Amazon coming in tomorrow after the close with their numbers. So the cool, this would be really cool, folks, okay, is that if you got a rejection of lower price, right, Amazon and Apple comes in, you get a little pop again, you get a, another, you know, they, you tr the market's trying to get higher, and if you try to get higher and you had a contraction of volume again, you, man, you could fire away like in a monster way here, because that would be saying that your correction just may be starting, because you gotta remember something. We have gone, <laughs> this is four months, man, you bring this back, this, this is rally started at 285, you know, this rally started in May. May, yeah, May, started in May. And just, you can see this, this is straight up. Now the next thing that, if you get something like this, the next thing that you'd be looking at is you'd be looking at the aspect, yeah, let's see, look at this. It's coming right into the channel line, right from the very bottom. So it's gonna get pretty cool out here. Notes and bonds, so let's take a look at the 10 year note first. The 10 year note is right at the lower end of its, you know, trading range. That lower end is uh, 110.05. We hit 110.15 today. The yield right now is 4.09, I believe. Where are you? Yeah, 4.06. 4 um, that's a big number. Now the 30 year, this is where it's gonna get really interesting. The 30 year broke down. So this broke out of its range. I'm gonna put this up in a generic chart also. That broke out of its range, man, in a monster way. You can see it quite clearly. So let's take a look at this 30 year. Okay, so generic. I'm curious where the, oops, not that one. USA, that should get me. No, 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 US one. There we go, okay. So if we take a look at the 30 year, put this back, I'm put this on a 15 year monthly. I see, okay. That's interesting. So the 30 year, we've been down here before, 117, 117, 19. Well, the first place is 121, 27. We hit 121, 20 today. 121.27 is the number. And if we go look, let me see what this is doing. So the 30 year, 30 year right now is at 4.15. Get 4.15 for the 30 year. You get 4.06 for the 10. Look at that two year. The two year is at uh, 4.8. Now, good old King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar here. Let's do gold first. We get over and do the gold contract. Gold's down here today with 158,000 contracts. It didn't. It didn't hold. It. You know, we we got underneath where it wanted to test. We got underneath the strength, which was the 1976. So that's that's laying out that the bottom of this consolidation can get hit, which is the uh, 1939. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow down dust is down 355. You get the Nasdaq off 321. S&Ps are off 67. So let's get over and take a look at the uh, GDX. We'll go to the GDX next because if this dollar is going to go up to that level, folks, okay, the bottom line is that you're going to see gold and all these basically equities get down to the bottom of the consolidation. So we had here, you're breaking a swing, you're not breaking it with volume. That being said, though, you're not holding price. So like the GDX, you got game down here at uh, 2826. That's what it looks like. And we'll see whether, now that, what you do have coming over way over on the way up on the last time in March, you can see you got, you have some support here from that level, but the way the dollar is going, folks, the dollar wants to go to higher price, man. If the dollar goes to higher price, we're going to be down at these levels again. If we go to the GLD and we take a look at the GLD, it's kind of the same setup. You know, the GLD is 5 million shares today. Yesterday you did 6.2. You took the swing out. Now, the swing's out with light volume, which is good, which is that's what you want, okay? That being said, you're not holding price. And, you know, this... This baby saying that it, well, it still wants lower price. And it's all going to have to do, let's go over to the silver market for a second. So we take a look at silver. Silver out here. That has 69,000 contracts. Now silver, this, this is going to get intriguing here to watch how this shakes out. Because what, silver and gold definitely move together. That being said, you can see it quite clearly that silver had a huge sign of strength. It hasn't blown by its big signs of strength yet. So at the bottom of 2331, you know, that was a big sign of strength that we came off a few weeks ago, went up, took out a swing point, had volume behind the move, gave it up at uh, this 2546 level. And then we go to the SLV and we take a look at the SLV. Yeah, this is going. This is going to fill a couple gaps right now. What do, what does happen? This is something important to understand inside of the commodity market, right? Particularly, you know, we talk about gaps, gaps up and gaps down. What always happens inside the gold and silver market? There'll always be gaps. The reason being, folks, is that um, silver and gold trade all night long. Okay, so gaps aren't the same 
inside of that market. That's, that's my point more than anything. That's what it comes down to. We go take a look at, let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Point-wise out here, this is what we have happening. You have uh, Walgreens, that, let's see, see, what Walgreens boots? Yeah, Walgreens boots, that's uh, putting six positive points. IBM five, Johnson Johnson five, taken away from it. Microsoft minus 58, Boeing minus 41, Goldman minus 38. And then we go into the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness there. Walgreens boots three, up 3%, three Vertex up 2.5, Charter up 2, Dexcom up 1, taken away from it. Zscaler down 7.5, Electronics Arts off 7. You got uh, Palo Alto off 7 and Pinduoduo do off 7. This, man, those are big numbers, man. Holy cow. It's like... You know, they've, they've been up tremendously, too, but 6.5% in one day is pretty intense. There's no doubt about that. Let's go to the IWM and see what's happening with the IWM out here. We take a look at the IWM. So that's coming off the highs. That volume's not bad in the IWM. See that, 21 million? You know, that's not bad at all. Because the, the 21 million, it coming into 40 million. Yeah. So this thing's not over yet, man. That's, this IWM is kind of saying that. It's kind of intriguing here, actually watching it. You know, if you go overseas, like, the, it, you know, I've talked about this many times. If you're trading intraday or daily, you always want to understand what's going on overseas, okay? Because overseas was telling us this morning, man, that this market was going to be rough. You know, all the markets were down. They were down pretty good. They stayed down. And, you know, our markets are chasing them because what you had out there yesterday. So if you take a look at the DAX yesterday, the, our markets didn't chase the DAX down yesterday. It was down, but it didn't taste, chase it down as much as it should have. You can see it, it closed at its lows. You know, today, bottom line gets down there again. Now, I'll get the volume about 8 o'clock tonight on the, on the DAX. And that volume is going to tell me quite a bit, you know, because if... We broke a swing. If we broke that swing with volume, that's saying it's going to go down to the lower range. So you can get a nice edge when you're looking and starting to trade our markets if you're really understanding what's going on overseas. That's it, particularly, you know, yeah, let me bring this up again, particularly in Europe, particularly the DAX in general. I, I, I watch the DAX all the time. I want to know where the DAX is where it's going, because then you can watch it. What also happens is that on the DAX is this. If the DAX starts moving, let's picture you have a down market. And, you know, the DAX is ahead of us hour-wise, but in the middle of this session, if you see that DAX starting to move higher, well, pay attention to it, and then pay attention to the dollar, because if you combine those with what ends up happening is that you're going to get a good feeling whether... You, know, you are going to get a bounce in a down market and just the opposite in an up market because it, 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 it's really consistent. Um, there's just no doubt about it. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. You have, uh, well, let's see that. I'm over in, I love it. I'm, I love that. I'm over in uh, Germany right now. Nope, we got to go back to the United States. Let me pull this back. Uh, SPX. There we go. Okay, so you get you get Tesla's down seven bucks. You get uh, Nvidia's off twenty three. You have PayPal off a couple bucks. Meta's off nine dollars. You get Devron Energy off four. Nothing, you know. They, they, those are those are decent numbers, but the reality is is that you're dealing with a very high number to start with. Let's go over to Amazon and see what Amazon... Now, Amazon's after the close tomorrow. Amazon's trading down 340. Amazon's going to be looking to take in 131 million in the top line, 35 cents to the bottom line. If we take a look at this, let's see how this is set up. Yeah, this is... Okay, put this on a weekly. I'm going to put it on a month. I'm going to put it on a monthly, actually. Okay, so on a monthly... Yeah, on a monthly, it's still not bad. On a monthly, man, look at look at this. 
you know, from its low, I mean, Amazon was at 81, it's 180, 128 right now, but you can see it just crawled up and it actually has, has volume at that high of 115, I mean, 135. So Amazon looks like it wants to, you know, go higher. And then let's go to Apple. Apple is going to be also coming out after the close. After the close tomorrow night, there's going to be some real action here. Let's do this on a monthly and see how it looks too. Yeah, Apple looks vulnerable to me in a monster way. Yeah, this is there. You can see there's different chart altogether. Apple's Apple's Apple. It's been up on air for a long period of time, man. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 377. Nasdaq off 326. S&Ps are off 70. We're coming right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial's down 392. Nasdaq's off 335. S&P's off 72. Let's go over to the SPY for a second, because we got to... We have an ABC down setting up here, and it's going to be all about, did we get, yeah, we got the volume. Okay, so you're in, now watch, this is how, because there's a gap down, right, folks? The bottom line, you take the top, the bottom of the gap. You don't take the top. And this is a, an ABC down. Right now, we're at 449, 447.80, 89. This thing could go right down there right now. 
uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, we're down seven bucks, but that means we'll be down about $10 on the SPY. It just broke it. It broke it with volume. You can see it right here. That's where we just broke it. We needed volume more than uh, 1.6 million. We just, we just did 1.79 million. Uh, the Qs are a little bit different. Let me get the Qs up because the Qs haven't hit it yet. Yeah, the Qs haven't hit it yet down there. You can see the expansion of volume. The Qs probably just want to get down to the bottom of it because that's, yeah, it's a high volume low. Yeah, that's where that wants to go. You can see this one right down here. The low is different. It was a high volume low. And then if we go into the futures, you're going to see the same thing. I can do the number on the futures here. Let me look at this for a second. The futures could be a monster one, man. Let me look at this for a second. So we took it out. Contract-wise, you had 38,000 taken out 37. Yeah, I mean, let me do let me do this because if we don't get this now, we're going to get this tomorrow morning, which is so cool. So let's see what we have. This is going this one's going to get interesting, man. We got the roll happening here. Let's see what we have. Forty five eighty three fifty. The bees. Forty five thirty four. 25. That's a 49 A to B. Minus 45, 49. Flat. 4499. Yeah, 4499. That's another 30 points down. So, with the way you play this, right? I trade this. Never mind playing this, okay? I don't like that word. Playing because it's not we're definitely not playing. We're trading. So it broke it. It broke it with volume, and you're at forty-five twenty-nine. So you got to remember tomorrow forty-four ninety-nine because that's the that's the ABC structure down, and that's that's about as cool as you get. The, the ABCs, folks, that when you can get the straight line move, the straighter it is. Then you get the consolidation. Then, you know, the A to B is straight. B to C is all over the place, which you can see. Then C to D, straight line move. That's just, that's, that's how they set up. And, you know, again, you coordinate it with that good old U.S. dollar. That's how this thing would shake out. The, um, we go take a look at, let's go take a look at a couple of the big dogs out here. So Tesla's only down $7, which is nothing. So Tesla's coming into its lowest swing. Now Tesla, is, that's a big contraction of volume. See that contraction of volume today? So that's not a lot of selling in Tesla. Just not a lot of selling. Let's see what they uh, did out here with Caterpillar. Caterpillar broke topside yesterday. Went higher today. That'll have to pull back a bit. But the bottom line, that thing is strong like a bull. We go take a look at the SMHs. Now, they, look at that. That's down on big volume, man. The SMHs. So the SMHs, oh, look at this. Yeah, this is going to get, this is going to be some serious business. The SMHs made a high with 3.9 million and coming down with 8 million, 8.3. You're in the lower range now, so the SMHs were at 154, 146 is game, but what's really game <laughs> uh, is down at these lower levels. And, you know, if you do use moving averages, this is where this always gets dangerous at moving averages. You can see how far, let me, let me put this up this way, because the moving averages, folks, us, because we went up so dramatically, the moving averages on just about all the indices are much, much lower. Let me put that up for you so you can see that. You can see, you know, the, the purple line there is the 50. Well, the 50 is, <laughs> just to go to the 50, 
gets you down to uh, 5438. And I suspect the first support is 443. Now, when you gap like this, you know, Basil talks a lot about the, the nine. And if you take a look at the nine, it jumped the nine today. And the nine's a beautiful thing to use. There's no doubt about that. But see how it jumped it? Bottom line, it rides the nine. It loves riding the nine. And it gapped down over it. Then you really got to pay attention to it when it jumps the nine. It's like, okay, you know, the last couple times it jumped, it was only down there two days. So since March, you got, let's see, you're down two days there, two days there, four, five, you got another five, there's 10. Didn't close underneath it. You, you've only had 10 days that it was under the nine since all the way going back to March. Check that out, right? That's about as wild as you can get. It really is. The, um, the cues, I believe, are going to be set up the same way. The difference in the cues is that the, the 50 might be even further away. So if we take that, no, it's not that bad. The cues, that's set up at, uh, what, 364, we're at 374. But then if you did, you're going to see the same deal. that you did the same deal. You jumped it. You gapped down, you jumped it. When, when you gap over either fib numbers, uh, trend lines, channel lines, um, it makes it a whole different ball game, folks. And in particular, you know, we're going to have out here today, we're going to have wide price spread. So let's go to the TLT because the, the rates, this is, you know, the, this is going to get pretty wild, man. The TLT, Oh, interesting. So TLT rejected 96.40 today. Let me bring this way back. So I'll put this on a monthly. Okay, no. Yeah, TLC is going to, I mean, I didn't realize that uh, 10 months ago we were down there. Yeah, the low on the TLT is 91.85, and right now you're at 97. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. I phone now is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials. Dow is trading up 380, tie up 380, down 380. NASDAQ is off about 321. S&Ps are off 69. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow's down uh, 377, NASDAQ off 320, S&P's off 68. Let's go over to that gold, I mean, that uh, crude market and see what's happening inside crude. So if we take a look at the crude market, that's quite a bar. So it's going to be a failure at the top of its range. You get good volume, though. Yeah. Okay, so we got to 82.43. This could be volume off the top. Let me bring this back, CL1. Like this. I'm putting this on a monthly right now. See how this setup is laying. Oh, I see. Interesting. Yeah, it's going to be a failure at the uh, 82, 83. That's how that's laying out, man. Yeah, that's. Look at that. It's so intriguing when you put it on a monthly. Let's go to the XLE and see what we have happening in the XLE. You're pulling back slightly, nothing heavy. But you see, you couldn't make the high. The high, 87.73, 87.73, 87.73, 87.73, 87.73, 87.73, 87.73, 87.73, 87.73, 87.73, 87.73, 87.73, 87.73, 87.73, 87.73, 87.73, 87.73, 87.73, 87.73, 87.
put this on a monthly. Yeah, this is pretty dangerous, actually. You got to keep an eye on this one. If this one gets back under 769, then you're going to have a failure. You can see the contraction. The contraction is pretty heavy. Last month, we did uh, 200, 221 versus 456 million on a monthly basis. That's a whole different ball game, man. Um, you should you should have got a lot more than that, particularly if this thing look, does look like it's basing out, though. I mean, there's no doubt about that. And that's what does happen in that business, meaning the aspect of what these rigs are worth. You know, one month they're worth nothing. The next, you know, year, you know, another month they're, they're worth quite a bit of money. That's just how they're set up. We got to take a look at the... Let's go take a look at platinum, see what's happening with platinum out there. So the PPL, well, actually, hold it. I want to take a look at the future first. So we take a look at the July contract. Why is that give me anything? No. No. I don't want the July contract. PL. There we go. Okay, so I got the October contract. That's down 11 bucks. 1,400 contracts traded. You're at 9.28. Yeah, this one's the same thing. I mean, you know, we'll see whether this goes to the lows. The lows, last lows out here were 8.94. And if we go take a look, what we, ha what we haven't had, let me just take a look at this first. If we take a look at the ticks, the, this morning, what happens, folks, is that, you know, you don't use the opening tick. You're going to see a huge down trick out here today, minus 18.19, but that was the opening tick. You know, intraday out here. Oh, hold it. One second. That's a good one. Hold it. Was that a, oh, that's a daily. One second. There we go. Well, we just did have a big one right there. What is that? Yeah, that's minus 12. So minus 12, 11. It's not bad. That was 30 minutes ago. And then the trend is laying out here at 0.91. It got as low as 0.66. There's still not a, you know, there's, you don't, you don't have the, as Tim Moore would say, you don't have the fear going yet, you know, you, you just don't. And you got to remember that uh, is, we're still in numbers out here. Now, what we are going to see happen, you know, this is going to get really interesting inside the bank structure. The banks, they're not even, they're, the banks aren't getting hit bad out here today as the context of what's going to happen. You know, Bank of America is only down 44 cents. So the large banks, folks, are going to have to come up with an additional 19% capital. And I'm not quite sure when this is going to happen, but um, the capital rules, let's see, when they're going to go into effect. But 19% is quite a bit. <laughs> uh, the Federal Reserve, Federal Insurance Office of Control released plans that would require big U.S. banks to set aside more capital with the eight largest financial firms facing an increase of about 19 percent. The measures are tied to an international overhaul called Basel III that began in the wake of uh, 2009, 2008 rather. Um, so I wonder when they're going to come up with them because that that's that's 19 percent of anything is a big number folks there's no doubt about that you know if we take a look at the overall volume out here the nyse will let yeah this is gonna they, we're gonna have some volume out here today that's gonna nyse is gonna be over a billion the nasdaq is the number nasdaq's gonna be like 5.5 billion that's a big number we're coming down on volume on the nasdaq that says that will we should continue coming down stay right there folks come right back we have the dow dow is on 337 nasdaq's f 302 s p's off 62 we'll come right back
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 327, the Nasdaq's uh, down 302, S&P's off uh, 62. And if we do take a look at this VIX... That's quite a little pop. It makes sense, you know. That's, that pop right off the lows, no doubt. That's up 239. So, yeah, this did the same thing. Now, this gets interesting, too. See how, see how it popped over the 50? That's what this thing did. This jumped. This jumped right over the 50. Boom. So, and it doesn't mean it has to go higher. But the bottom line is that now the trend is definitely on the upside. Now, that's, that's, look at the nine, because the nine's going to set up really nice. The, ni the nine, I'm sure it popped. Yeah, see, it popped. It, it, see, this? Yeah, that, that, the nine's a trip, man. So the nine, basically, the last couple of days, it was over. And see that just went under, over. Now it's basically getting higher. So if we take a look at these numbers out here, inside the SPY first, what you have? You get 73 million. Yep, you get the expansion happening, man. You know, 73 million, you're coming into basically 80, you know. So that, we're going to do 80. We said we're at 73 million. You still got, you know, five minutes left to four o'clock, but they can pile in to a quarter past four pretty easily. And the Qs, as I said earlier, 
They got some monster volume, man. The Qs, you're already at 64. You're breaking a swing that had, well, let's see, you're going, you're going into 80. They'll end up doing 70. That's, that's how this thing's set up. So we get some volatility back. It's a beautiful thing, man. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.